In an agile project, at the conclusion of a sprint, you face a challenge where the product owner expresses dissatisfaction with the delivered increment, stating it does not fully meet their expectations. As the project manager, aiming to enhance future sprints outcome, future, okay, which of the following action would be the most effective in preventing reoccurrence of this issue and ensuring the project, broader project alignment? I believe this is the simplest type of question. Yeah, if you understand Agile, but definitely simple questions will come in your PMP exam as well. It doesn't have to be ambiguous and complicated all the time. So what this question is asking, this question is asking in the Agile ways of working, how do you improve? How do you think about how to remove the misunderstanding conflicts which you faced in the previous sprint? So this is pointing to a retrospective meeting Let's see if we get an option clearly defining the retrospective as an option. Let's go with option A. Schedule a sprint review meeting immediately following the sprint to discuss the delivered increment with the product owner and gather detailed feedback. That is expected to be there. The idea of sprint review is definitely understanding what we have developed and based on our development, what kind of technical challenges we faced, what kind of prioritization we understood, what happened in the industry, in the market, so that let's figure it out, what should we do next? But mainly focusing on requirement part of it, what kind of requirement we should do next? Yeah. So yes, it's a feedback meeting, but it's a feedback meeting on our, our deliverable. Yeah, deliverable, it is also a feedback meeting on our overall speed of delivery, overall the, the mechanism of delivery, yes, yeah, that's the, the thing, but it is not a problem solving or a reflection meeting for the process we follow to deliver. It is not a reflection meeting to find out why we had these many misunderstandings. What should we do differently? How do we change our working agreement? How do we change our definition of done? Those kind of detail, lesson learned kind of discussions, problem solving kind of discussions is not the agenda of iteration slash sprint review. Yeah. So this question is primarily checking that do we understand the meaning of sprint review and sprint retrospective. Let's go with option B. Introduce more detailed upfront planning and documentation at the beginning of each sprint to avoid such misunderstanding in the future. In general, whenever you say detailed documentation, definitely it shows like an anti-pattern of agile, but somebody will say we could be hybrid. We better want to have a detailed understanding and that can probably solve this problem. In the hybrid approach, I may want to do it. The answer is yes, it might be. But how do you know that's the only solution? Yeah, we are judging. Is, is there anything else can help? Is there something else which is missing rather than just a documentation? Can there be a more frequent feedbacks, more, more frequent meetings during the sprint? So we have less misunderstanding. Can we agree on definition of ready? So I, Generally, the detailed documentation is, is anyway negative word, but still I don't want to jump to B because of other reasons as well. And that's the beauty of our conversations. Even if some question looks very simple, the, the main learning from my side is looking at the option and try to learn a concept from each option. Option C, conduct a sprint retrospective with the team and include the product owner to collaborate, identify and implement improvement in understanding the meeting uh, understanding and meet, meeting yeah, the product owner's expectation across various project aspects. It's a most clear answer. Yeah, there is no ambiguity left. Now, sometimes if you go through pure scrum learning and sometimes some teacher teaches you, though the scrum guide never tells about it, sometimes we start thinking the retrospective meeting is just a team's meeting. It has nothing to do with the product owner. It is something the, the, the delivery team is figuring out what they should do differently. You should not assume that. Retrospective is a collaborative meeting which involves the key people who are involved in making the project successful. From a scrum world, it's a meeting between the scrum master, development team, and product owner. In our hybrid world, we can fairly assume all the people who are committed, who are working on the project on a day-to-day -day basis, they all come together to learn how should we do things differently so that we can improve. Fortunately, this option makes it very clear that which involves product owner as well. Yeah, even if that part is not there, I still go with option C. Option D, ensure that there is a shared and clear 
defined understanding of definition of done between the team and the product owner before commencing the next sprint. Looks like a good idea. Not at all a bad idea. Yeah. Uh, but it could be done as a result of a retrospective meetings. Because when we have a misunderstanding about you did something and I'm not liking it, it could be that we misunderstood the requirement or we don't have an agreement on what is called completion. So we can definitely improve our definition of done. Now let's see between C and D. C is saying, as we usually say, acknowledge, analyze, and act. Yeah, you probably want to collaboratively analyze the situation before you find out what we'll do. That's an option C. Option D is saying there is a nice thing which can work. If option C is missing, yeah, I can go with D. Yeah, D looks great because we want to have a better definition of done and misunderstanding clearly shows the, the acceptance criteria or definition of done, something there was wrong. So we need to have a better clarity. But since C is available, I go with C rather than going with D. From exam content outline perspective, it still maps to task eight for the plan and manage scope. Yeah, that's scope work, which we are focusing on. And we are focusing on agile ways of working and we learn about various agile meetings in this, uh, this question. Yes, the focus was more on retrospective, but we learn about uh, uh, the review meeting as well.